I received this special name tag when I was invited to Point Loma, California by the Clifton Strength Finder because they wished to review my five strengths with me. You see, in the Clifton Strength Finder, there are 34 different strengths. So the probability of the same person having the same five strengths in the same order is one in millions and millions and millions. But see, they wished to visit with me about my five strengths. You see, my number one strength is activator. And the best way to define activator is fire. Ready, aim. Fire, ready, aim. That's activator. Nothing like me at all, really, is it? No, absolutely not at all. And so in the book, Living Your Strengths, when they describe the 34 different strengths, they're so upbeat and so encouraging. The only strength of the 34 that has anything negative to say about it is activator. <laughs> because they list those people that I don't get along with. And one of the strengths that I don't get along with are those people who have the gift of strategic. You know, those people who put together a plan and steps and all that kind of stuff to achieve a goal, those strategic people. Activator, fire, ready, aim doesn't get along with strategic people, but that's my number five strength. So... They wanted to meet with me because Kurt, who helped develop the Clifton Strength Finder, Kurt said to me, so either you're schizophrenic <laughs> or you're suffering constant inner turmoil of those two strengths fighting with each other all the time. And what they learned is, yes, my number one is activator. And my number five is strategic. But I believe that the strategic is a gift from the Holy Spirit to help moderate my activator. You see, I believe that God created me with these complementary strengths. I don't see them as fighting with an inner turmoil. I see them as helping each other to be best utilized. So in these strengths, my number one is connectedness. And now that I know that this is my strength, now I know why I never really needed to figure out the Holy Trinity. I just couldn't understand why in the seminary we had to spend so many hours reading so many boring, complicated books over an explanation of the mystery of the Trinity. As far as I'm concerned, the first word says it all, mystery, okay? It's a mystery. I don't need to figure it out. Because in my number strength connectedness, all that matters to me is that I'm connected to the Trinity. And being that God is a Trinity helps me to be connected in a more powerful way. Because I'm connected to the Trinity through a presence, a connectedness, and an intimate link. You see, this is the definition of connectedness in the Clifton Strength Finders Living Your Strengths book. In your soul, you know that we are all connected. Yes, we are individuals responsible for our own judgments and in possession of our own free will. But nonetheless, we are part of something larger. I am part of something larger. God is part of something larger. 
There's no way that I will ever be able to comprehend God who is part of something larger. I'm part of something larger. God is part of something larger. You have faith in links between all things. You see, there's my faith. God's part of something larger, but in my soul, I believe that I'm linked to God in a very real way. You believe there are few coincidences that almost every event has a reason. Every event has a reason. You've heard me talk about sacred synchronicity, that the Holy Spirit is present and active in our lives in all aspects of our lives. So my connectedness helps me to be in a relationship with the Trinity that I'm never going to fully comprehend. But the reality is, I mean, so you celebrated how many years of marriage? That was like, what, 60 or something? 70? 70? I got off by 10 years. You just did that when? <laughs> when was your anniversary? August. 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 70 years in August. Bob, after 70 years, do you have Jody figured out yet? <laughs> he doesn't want to answer that question. <laughs> I would take that as an affirmative, wouldn't you? Because the reality is, if we can't figure each other out, how are we going to figure God out? But they're connected. They're linked. They're present to each other. I'm connected, I'm linked, and I'm present to God. Why? Because I need to know that Jesus is present to me always. We heard that in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 20. Jesus says, Behold, I am with you always until the end of the age. Jesus is present with us always to the end of the age. God is connected to us. God is connected to us because God is present to us. You see, there was this misconception in the Old Testament times that where was God? Up on the top of a mountain and you wouldn't want to go see God or you'd drop dead and you certainly didn't want to hear God speaking to you because you certainly didn't tell you. So they had God all the way up in the mountains. But even Moses in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 39 said, this is why you must know, now know, and fix in your heart that the Lord is God in the heavens above and on earth below. God is present here with us on earth. Jesus is with us always. God is present with us here on earth. And we're intimately linked to the Holy Spirit as we heard in Romans chapter 8, verse 14. For those who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. We are members of God's family. We're intimately linked with God as God's children. And so that spirit is active and present with us in our lives at all times. But see, sometimes it's not easy to realize that because our lives don't always go perfectly, right? I mean, you never had any bumps in the road in your 70 years of marriage, right? Did you? No, don't answer that question. <laughs> but we believe God is with us even in times of trouble. Because that's when we turn to God for strength and comfort. We believe that God is present even with us in times of trouble and struggle. But we also believe God is present with us in good times. It's those times where we turn to God and say, thank you. Thank you for the many blessings of my life that help me recognize that you are with me always, that you are present in my life, that you are active in my life. Help me to see you, Lord, in the good times and the troubling times. Help me, Lord, to recognize your presence actually, through the many, many innumerable blessings in our lives. May your presence, Lord, help us to know our purpose. May your presence, Lord, help us 
to follow your plan, your path in our lives. But Lord, may your presence continue to fill us with your blessings. Because we believe, Lord, you are present, that you're connected, and that you're intimately linked with all aspects of our lives. 